everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NFL action wildcard round for this weekend. The game specifically for Sunday, January the 15th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at the NFL games for January the 15th as we're into the playoffs. First game is Miami and Buffalo. You see here the teams are heading in completely opposite directions. Buffalo coming in burning hot. They're winners of their last six. And, and you see here over the last six, Miami is just one in five. And they are dead up. You can see here the huge uh, difference in the odds. Buffalo is a huge favorite at home of 1.12 to 6.1, which translates to a line of 12.5 points and over-unders at 43.5. You can see here Buffalo has got a 97% chance of winning this game. Uh, Miami is without their starting quarterbacks. So that's going to be a, another big factor. And Buffalo is playing on an emotional high at the moment. Um, if you look at the over-under, you see the teams have been involved in games evenly over and under the line, both 3-3 three and three over their last six. If we take a look at the score predictor, all Buffalo by a 41-16 margin. And the confidence in prediction is a very high 88%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, not a big surprise here. Buffalo riding at the top at plus 31, while Miami has dipped. They were at 29 just a little over a month ago, and they are all the way down to plus 11 because of their recent skid. Interestingly enough, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups during the regular season, in the uh, divisional battles, you can see that Buffalo won one, Miami won one, and both by three points or less. But this is a different story here come playoff time. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, you can see the stability factor. Both teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at 10 for Buffalo and 7 for Miami. If we take a look at the money line, movements in the money line, we see it opened up at 1.188. And there's a dip here, and now it's currently at 1.12. You see here. A sharp line move detected against Buffalo right here on January 12th, but it's still a very strong favorite for uh, Buffalo in this one. In the end, I like the Bills to win and cover, but I would pass on the over-under bet. New York Giants and Minnesota Vikings. New York comes in as the third seed in the NFC, while the Vikings, excuse me, the other way around. The Giants are the sixth seed in the NFC, and Minnesota is the third seed. Uh, Minnesota is a favorite of 1.62 to 2.276. And that's a line of three and a half points with the over-under sitting at 48.5. Uh, Minnesota's average up at the moment coming off of a regular season win against Chicago. They are 4-2 over their last six. While the Giants are average down there coming off of a loss. Uh, playing all their backups against Philadelphia. And they are 2-3-1 and one over their last six. You see Minnesota is giving a 59% chance of winning this game. And the score predictor has Minnesota by a huge margin, 37 to 18, with a high level of confidence of 83%. The Vikings have been involved in games over the line, so expect high scoring from them. And the same thing for the Giants in four out of the last six. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. And you see they ended up the regular season at plus 25 for Minnesota and plus 20 for the Giants. In the head to head matchups, you can see that the two teams did meet back on December the 24th, with the Vikings winning by a narrow margin, 27 to 24. The stability factor, you can see that Minnesota is among the most stable teams in the league at plus 13, if not the most stable. I didn't actually check to see uh, which was the most stable team, but in this matchup here, they are more, more stable than the Giants, who come in just at plus 2. Minnesota is uh, more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a Look at the line, if there's been any movements in the line. It opened at 1.629 for Minnesota. And you can see here that it did go to 1.57. And then as it leveled out, almost where it started, it's at 1.621. In the end, I do like uh, Minnesota to win at home and to cover the line in a game going over the line. And the last game we want to look at is Baltimore and Cincinnati. Baltimore comes in as the number um Six seed at 10 and 7, and Cincinnati is the number three seed at 12 and 3. Cincinnati has won their last eight games, while Baltimore has lost three out of their last four. Uh, that contributes to the status of burning hot for Cincinnati and average down for Baltimore. You see the line is hugely in Cincinnati's favor, 
uh, 1.23 to 4.04 odds, and that's a line of seven and a half points. And you can see the Bengals have an 81% chance of winning this contest. And if you look at the score predictor, it's looking like a blowout if this holds true. 39 to 19 in favor of Cincinnati with confidence in prediction of 72%, which is lower than the other two games, but still pretty, pretty good level of confidence in the prediction. Take a look at the power ranks indicator. Again, uh, Cincinnati is at plus 28, while Baltimore is at plus 18. They had dropped from plus 23 just um, a little less than two weeks ago. Head-to-head -head matchup during the regular season. You can see Cincinnati won by 11 on January the 8th, and Baltimore won by 2 on October the 9th. So expect a tighter score than what the score predictor is showing. I think because it's a divisional um, matchup, and it's always pretty pretty tough for divisional games. Um, see, both teams are relatively stable, plus eight to plus seven. Has there been any movement in the line? The movement in the line started at 1.34, and now it's at 1.23 in favor of Cincinnati, so they're even a stronger favorite than they were before. So in the end, I like the thing was to win, but don't be surprised if the Ravens cover, and I will pass on the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are the NFL playoff games for January the 15th. Happy betting. We will see you again next time.